exciting week of York School. On Friday, there's going to be a dance. The theme is TGIF, which is Thank God It's Friday by Katy Perry. And okay, so. <laughs> Okay, so this is a spirit week. For all of you who don't know what that is, it's a week where you have a lot of spirit. On Monday, which is today, we're going to have a donut on a string competition in the quad where you make a fool out of yourself while you try to get a donut. Tomorrow, we don't have anything because it's a Tuesday. And then Wednesday, we have... <laughs> Class color day, and if you want your class colors, ask your presidents, and we will tell them what the colors are. And Thursday, okay, we'll tell them on Wednesday. No, they're supposed to wear colors on Wednesday, right? Seniors have seniors have black, juniors have purple, purple, sophomores have green, freshmen have red. Eighth graders have orange. 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 Anyways, anyways, we'll do a follow up. Anyways, Thursday is gonna be Jersey Shore dodgeball, where you dress up like Vinny, Ronnie, Polly D, <laughs> Sammy Sweetheart, any of those people. And on Friday, there's gonna be a So You Think You Can Dance competition in the quad, where you dance. And that's about it. So. in various places around the campus, including outside of my office, and in the front office, and somewhere over here. Um, probably on the board right outside of the, the theater. You will want to take a look and see what path group you are in. If you're a senior, you don't need to do that. Um, even if you think you know what path group you're in, please double check. You'll need to have that information for this afternoon's meeting. Thanks. So I'm delighted to report that the music program got underway today. We had a delightful group of singers here in the choir. Uh, there's always room for more. Um, I don't know how many people were in orchestra. Can somebody tell me how many people were in orchestra this morning? Somebody? Orchestra, how many people were there? No, how many people were in orchestra this morning? You don't remember. It's like there are about 20. 10 or 11? 20, says Mr. Brookhouse. Maybe. Good. Excellent. So we're underway. Tomorrow morning, D-Day, will be the first concert band meeting. So if you want to play in concert band, bring your instrument tomorrow to the music room for concert band. Now, chamber choir, even though officially D-Day is not a rehearsal for us, I want to get going, I'm eager. So Chamber Choir, we will meet tomorrow morning, D-Day, here, and we'll also meet E-Day morning here, and Wednesday afternoon, 2.50, so we'll get a good, a good jump start to the year. We'll have three rehearsals in two days. If you are in concert band and Chamber Choir, would you please, tomorrow, D-Day, go to band so Mr. Daly knows that you're there, and on E-Day, come here to Chamber Choir. And if this is confusing you, look at Moodle. It's all there. Moodle your way to an A is the byword for music, so you know where you have to be and when. Thanks. One of the great traditions of York School is that each year we are fortunate to welcome someone to our community who comes to us from afar 
to spend a year uh, helping us learn a little bit more about this great diverse world in which we live and enriching the diversity of our community. So it's my pleasure to introduce to you uh, our AFS student this year, Nook, and I'll let uh, her host uh, say a couple words again. Okay. So my family is hosting Nook right here. She's from Thailand and she's a really delightful person, so I hope you all meet her. because we have also to talk about work jobs. And if you take too long, I'm gonna hire a heavy, maybe Kevin Ng, to come and pull you off the stage. <laughs> so a couple of announcements. Uh, first on the uh, Sporto world um, today, after club announcements and our work jobs scenario, how that's gonna spill out and be talked about and discussed. Um, field hockey will meet in room one. Uh, tennis will meet in room four. Cross country will not meet today. We will start practice tomorrow at three o'clock. We'll meet on the softball field. And water polo will meet tomorrow, probably in Mr. Fink's room, which is room 20, is that right? Yeah. So in addition to that, I've got some other bureaucratic stuff I have to read off. You must have these forms in in which to participate in the majority of activities that go on that involve physicality. Um, also, if you're on any kind of a field trip, you have to have these forms in to be transported in your vehicles. So the first thing I want to read is the transportation signatures that are required to ride in York vans. And some of you have not had you or your parents haven't signed those forms. You don't have to sign them. Your parents have to sign them. So Cody Aragon, Krista Brockman, Dahlia Johnson, Anna Patricia Tanda, Alex Harvey, Zach Morton, Rena Novalis, Alex O, and Christina Yuchita. You need to get your folks to sign that form so you can ride in York vans, which would include field trips and everything else. That's the first thing. Now the second thing is, there's a state requirement and a CIF California Interscholastic Federation requirement that you have to have a physical exam before you start school, in addition to the whooping cough vaccine and all this other lovely stuff. Uh, I hate making these announcements, by the way. They're not fun for me. I don't like being a bureaucrat. I don't know about anybody else. But <laughs> so these folks need to have a physical exam. You can go to docs on duty or something like that and expedite the process pretty quickly, but it needs to be done. Or tomorrow, when you start physical activities, guess where you go? You go sit on your butt in the library for 45 minutes. And you don't participate with your teams if you're on a sports team. You have to have these forms in. It's a requirement. So Celissa Ahrens, Jordan Adams, Monsef Buzar, Krista Brockman, Michael Cho. <laughs> Tria Crochet, Jackson Greer, Eric Hinwood, Max Houston, Alicia Yamas, Elizabeth Leahy, Jennifer McDowell, Colin McDonald. <laughs> Excuse me. This means no water bowl for you if you don't get your act together. Zach Morton, Alex O, James Perry, Wendy Kwan, Will Ramsey, Mark Graves, Ben Scott, Aaron C, Robert Taylor, Tyler Zenda, Nina Zia. You know who you are. Get this stuff done. Come on, folks. Thank you. Washburn, 
class of 2014, Ben Scott, you've met your requirement, and Rolf Tanner, do I have a question? Um, Emmy Nix, Jennifer McDonald, and the rest of you I have some questions on. Thanks. of the work job fun here. Alright, so in addition to checking your path group, you also need to check if only juniors and seniors, if your work job supervisors, check the uh, work job board by the end of the day because you'll need to know that for the meeting this afternoon. And if you guys could be one, it wasn't on like you asking us, so everyone check. And also while I'm here, uh, yearbook IOUs. I'm looking down people tomorrow, I'm going to find you, so we're paying you today. Uh -huh. the book and the hat, would Nat Perry come from whence he sat? <laughs> Nat Perry, please kneel if you accept. If not, your honor shall be kept. <laughs> so you agree, uh, then you shall be. Your Honor, we can't guarantee the newest member of our pedigree. Though you may be called loser or dork, you'll be the sovereign punmeister of York. I give you the book, I give you the hat, and that is that. Class. <laughs> 